Uh, good day, everyone. Um, hope everyone is having a good day. Um, today, I um, just want to quickly go through um, what uh, Labour Party uh, plans for uh, 2023. And um, currently, I'm just diving into uh, UK politics. Um, so um, today, I think uh, uh, Keir Starmer uh, went through um, his plans for uh, for Labour Party, uh, which promised to deliver uh, a decade of uh, national re renewals. That's if it is elected, and uh, part of his plan. Um, uh, he vows to end any sticking plastic politics uh, and multiple challenges facing the NHS. Uh, we know how currently uh, how NHS have been badly been managed by the Conservative Party. Um, my currently party is Labour Party. Uh, conservatives are definitely, to be, on, uh, to be honest, they have definitely failed uh, in terms of not having time to sit down on the round tables with all the unions uh, that are calling for better pay, uh, better employment rights, and all other things that uh, the NHS have been calling for uh, by the government. And the government are definitely fails not to sit down round to round tables uh, with this uh, union's uh, uh, association. So. So what uh, Kerstama is saying that uh, uh, he utterly convinced that uh, Westminster system is not working, and he blamed them for uh, holding powers, and he said the next general elections isn't until uh, uh, we know that one is coming up on, on January 2025. Uh, Kerstama said that he will use uh, 2023 to argue for a new ways of uh, governance. So he promised to uh, a change uh, on the Take Back Control Act. Uh, what does that mean is that uh, he wants more powers to be sweeping power to across the local, uh, to the people as well as the city. So it's just like uh, taking more powers away from the Westminsters. And uh, so, and he also said that uh, what uh, Rishi Sunak outlined, five promises that he said he wants the public uh, to judge his uh, premiership, premiership on. And those promises are uh, just making sure inflation is uh, having inflations, uh, growing the economics, ensuring the national debt uh, for cutting NHS waiting list, and stopping immigration votes crossing the channel. But uh, we know what, what is currently going on in NHS. We know definitely inflation is gradually uh, falling. Uh, we know a slightly economics is picking up, but uh, it's still currently behind all the rest of the Europe. And uh, Krestama said that he wants to set up a case for how Labour uh, would deliver a decade of nationals uh, renewals. That's what he said. And he said, uh, take back control. Uh, but uh, Claire Sama said he want to introduce uh, a take back uh, control bills and that uh, we spread powers from the West Minister and give local uh, council the right uh, to request new powers. And he also said that uh, anything that relating to anti-strike anti legislations, uh, Claire Sama said that um, any anti-strike uh, legislations that the Conservative is currently bringing uh, into the parliament that if it is something that is uh, involved more legislatures on these unions uh, without even thinking about uh, coming around in table with them that they will repeal it and the government uh, that the government proposed anti-strike uh, legislations i promise think that the laws uh, that will make it uh, a bad situations uh, rather than becoming the worst and if the legislations uh, comprises of further uh, restrictions uh, that labor will restrict it. And even Claire Thomas said on NHS that he will not allow the NHS to be destroyed. And he believed that uh, he has a fully costed, uh, costed training plan uh, that will provide more air care to, to, to staff. And he promised to uh, pledge to 
uh, break a fair pay deals that will improve uh, pay and conditions for the carers. And he also promised to hence uh, the errors of uh, short terms and sticking plastic policies, which he said he has caused multiple crises uh, in padding uh, Britain. Uh, Christama also said that uh, in the Labour uh, election manifestos, which is driven by clear uh, measurable objective and national missions, that he said the central government uh, should be dynamics and he believed that she should also be strong. And he also believed that uh, they should focus on the, uh, they should be more focused. And he has done that uh, when he's still currently in the Labour Party. And in terms of energy, uh, Claire Stammer said that uh, uh, Britons will get uh, 200% uh, clean power energy on their Labour by using a publicly owned uh, company called Great Britain Energy. So, less dependence on uh, autocrat regimes like uh, uh, like uh, uh, like Russia, making sure that all the energies produced are only coming from Britain. That's one of the things that they want to do. Then in terms of debt, uh, it's a government can't even uh, spend its way out of the mess uh, the country is. And he said that uh, labor will what, reduce a debt uh, as a share of the economy only to borrow to invest. So that's one of his message that he plans to do. And um, he also said that, uh, Claire Stammer also said that, uh, he said that Britain people are, are turning to labor uh, for a change. That uh, in year 2023, party will uh, return uh, uh, the, by, by being more confident in what to do and for first time, in a while, so it's believing that uh, labor is currently uh, graining guns, uh, graining ground, and, and it, that can also be spelled. If you look at the manifestos of labors, they are currently, uh, I think they are currently 22 above uh, conservatives. So definitely, and uh, they, they, their plans is working, their manifesto is working, and definitely they are currently gaining, they are gaining grounds. And labors were building on the foundation of governance and. Uh, Clestam also said that uh, uh, he believed that labels have made a change on anti-Semitism, uh, which is one of the problems that uh, um, uh, his former uh, predecessors, uh, which is uh, Kobe, uh, uh, could not manage, and on national securities and also in NATOs as well. And he believed that the party has built on that. And uh, that, but he believed that uh, the attacks in 2023 were not to rest on our lorry. And he said that adding that it will prove that there will be a bold uh, and reforming government. And um, he also know immediately that people, uh, uh, people face a lot of hardship at this current time. And Claire Stemmer said again, I also mentioned that the problems the country is facing and he said that he can't expect people uh, to stick it up. And just like what the conservatives have said, that people should stick it up, unless there's a hope of something better. And he also go also mentioned that NHS and the cost of living. And he also said the housing has get bungus, cutless times, yes, the police never come. And he also said that police uh, hospital is putting out messages begging patients to stay away from A and E. And children are going to school hungry. And it's not even just the poorest that's struggling. And in Christa, I also said that uh, millions of families, pensions, working people, uh, people that always want to keep their head above water, uh, they are going without decent food or eating. And I also believe that cutting back on holidays, uh, as people have already done, uh, because of the uh, high price of of transport fare as well, and also people cannot at this moment uh, afford, afford to have a very good and decent holiday. And the meals uh, that's currently outside are ext extremely expensive. Even the Christmas present, not every family has received that um, last year. And all these things uh, that makes life even more uh, enjoyable, uh, that is one of the uh, things that people are not actually receiving at this moment. And uh, well, Clem Preston also said that people are paying for uh, Tory mistakes, uh, that Tories are make 
significant mistake with all their promises and manifestos. And they are also putting Britain currently, uh, allowing Britain to get more worst uh, in terms of their standard of living. And he said that, uh, Kestama said he's speaking about how growing up uh, uh, working class in 1970, and he knew that uh, what the cause of crisis uh, feel like. And he also said that the anxiety and the shame of not being able to pay bills, uh, not only a month ago, were affordable. And he also said that during that time, his phone was cut off like this. And he said, pointing out there was no even mobile phones in those days. But Britons, we get through it. That is what he believes, and that's what he wants to promise Britain. And uh, tell the crowd, and he said, said the problem isn't that exactly what the Tories are banking on. They are going on to turn around in 2024 and are trying to claim some kind of political credit uh, for the sacrifice working people are making. So if it's not their mistake, people are paying for. And, uh, and he also distanced himself from Kobe. Uh, uh, and he said that... Um, he, remind, he reminds his audience for the work he has done to distance himself and his party from the former Labour Party, which is Jeremy Corbyn. And he talks about rebuilding trust uh, when it comes to tackling at anti semitism uh, on a national security and also NATO membership. And he wants to make it clear that Labour is different now. And definitely Claire Stammer, that's one of the things that Claire Stammer is saying today. And it's Claire Stammer also said that he's not talking about how Labour needs to show people they are the light at the end of the tunnels. Uh, he believed that he's more optimistic about the future. And he believed in this country. He believed in a lot of businesses. And he also believed in people's uh, ideas and motivations. And also believed that these countries have a very great spirit. And he also believed that in the spirit of people in this country. And he also said that he believed in the spirit of people that live in this nation. And uh, he also made mentions of the um, the funerals uh, for the late Elizabeth Queen, uh, the welcomes of refugees from Ukraine, and also um, especially people that have, uh, make a lot of these refugees from Ukraine uh, a home for them. And he appreciates what they've done, and he also make mention of um, uh, nurses, uh, those nurses that are doing incredible work, even the creative industries, uh, that are currently uh, are also doing what they can in order to make things work. And he also talked about sports. Um, he also congratulated the lioness um, who brought football back home into this country, uh, which, which is one of the remarkable things that lioness have done. And he also talking about universities, uh, manufacturing uh, genius, uh, what they've done, what they have contributed to this land, and even the green entrepreneurship, those people that want this country to, to have a kind of green uh, way of how they do things in this country. And I was talking about welcomes, I also congratulate those wonderful scientists, uh, people that have become uh, making a better life for a lot of country, people in this land. And he also believed that in our community, in our town, in our city, uh, where people will tell you, you know, not even on, on certain times, uh, what do they do have ambitions for themselves and their communities? Uh, Kersama said, no, Westminster politics, uh, politics is, he believed they are not working. And um, he said that he utterly convinced that the Westminster system is part of the problems. And he said that uh, they are good people and many MP want to tackle British problem, but the system doesn't work. So he has to, because these are one of the questions they ask him, that he has to find a way on how he's going to make it work. And he believed that he came into the politics late in his career. Uh, he believed he's run a large and reputable organizations, institutions, and he has served, to, to, he served this country, uh, which is Great Britain, which he believes he's so proud of, and he wants to change them all. Um, he believed that's the reason why he came into a politics eight years ago. And a new way to serve, and he believed a new way to get things done. An opportunity to change a country for better. And he has to say, I hasn't found much of that in Westminster. And they also want to a private sector partnerships. And that's one of the things, one of the things he emphasized today. 
And the next question is whether there are more scope for private sectors to deliver public services. Uh, what Claire Summer said that uh, delivering all this uh, state does not work, uh, but neither does li uh, leaving it entirely to the private company. Uh, instead, what they want is the partnership models uh, where the state uh, work better uh, in an efficient and a very uh, a productive way with uh, private businesses. And uh, Claire Summer also uh, tending to lean to the British voters. He said that uh, he promised to take back uh, control bills. Um, and to spread power out of us, Minister, uh, 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 the, the slogans of uh, votes leave campaign in the Brexit uh, referendum. And uh, he also wants to turn in from a uh, cash phrase into a change uh, by more decision making power to communities. So, giving more communities uh, to take more control in terms of what they decide, in terms of how they want to do. Uh, implements their policy at the local levels um, and saying the idea was part of his Brexit moment. And it's a way for uh, customer ways to learn into the Brexit vote after years of being uh, somewhere tricky, tricky topic for the party. So he learned a lot according to what he said that uh, uh, Brexit are becoming uh, something that he has learned through. Clestam uh, also pledged more NHS staff uh, to solve the crisis in NHS. And there was another question that was thrown to Kestama. Uh, one of the questions that they threw to him was, uh, um, was uh, that um, issues on NHS paid and strike, uh, that uh, what exactly uh, he would do uh, to help people right now. So what Kestama said is that, so every, every, he believed that every year we go into NHS crisis, but each year it gets worse. So he said he has pledged to have a full funding plan to tackle NHS recruitment and recruitment thousands of more staffs. Only way we can get out of this mess. And he said that labor can't spend our way out of this mess. The country is his. And um, then, they also asked me a question uh, about uh, uh, that, that uh, Labour won't get a big check out and uh, uh, we didn't match the government spending limits. Uh, so, but what he said is that I will need to be ab absolutely clear that he can't spend our way out of this mess, the countries. And he said they have set up his policy, uh, which is his fiscal rule, uh, that will get uh, debt down as a share of the economics and only to borrow to invest. And that's what is one of his plan. And he said everything that the Labour proposes will fully be costed. Uh, Labour won't leave the Britain being uh, barefooted from crisis to crisis. Uh, and I, they also asked him that, um, that he won't accept a decline, he won't write our country off, uh, he won't leave Britain in a brace positions uh, barefooted from crisis to crisis. And it only on trying to make it true. It's not the way to live. It's not the way to run a country. That's accusing the conservatives of what they're currently doing. And he also said that under the Labour Party, politics wouldn't hide from the big challenge that face our country. And um, they also asked him a question about breast He said that uh, it was a whole uh, host of issues on, on, on the ballot. Uh, as, as I went around the country uh, campaigning for Remain, I couldn't uh, disagree with the basic case. So many leaves uh, voters made to me. And people wanted public service that they could rely on, a uh, very high street that they could be proud of. And he believed the opportunity for the next generation in this, in this country. And they said, I also said that uh, many of those who voted yes in the Scottish referendums in 2023 do so. Uh, I believe for a similar reason, not um, reasonable demands. And it's not unrealistic for us to recognize the desire of the community uh, to stand on their feet. And this is what is back controls means. So, customers have been, uh, definitely there's still a lot of uh, more details, information that we still need to hear from him. And uh, he said that the communities will control their economic destiny. And that's one of his taking back control. And Claire Summer also said he will forge uh, public and private partnerships, uh, especially on energy. Uh, that's one of the things they want to do. 
uh, that I believe that working with the private sectors, uh, and it will, at, it will definitely outline how Britain could get to 100% clean energy generations uh, under the Labour Party. Uh, and by definitely uh, co coexisting with the public and the private sectors. Uh, um, because if you take action, I believe if you take action now, uh, the businesses and the working people will get cheaper bills forever. And uh, it get, I believe that our country will get energy independence from the uh, tyrants is like uh, Putin's forever. And we get every community a, sh a shot at a green job. And um, so um, I also believe that, um, uh, so I also vow to end what are called uh, sticking plastic policies, which I emphasized before. And um, uh, the issues of also manifesto, Labels uh, will deliver a measurable manif objective manifestos. So I believe that we are moving into what Labels and STEMA propose uh, uh, actually doing. And he said Labour will first uh, modernize the central government so it become a dynamics, uh, agile, strong, and uh, a productive uh, Westminster. And it's believed that Labour manifesto will be driven by clear, uh, measurable objectives and national missions. And, and also want power to be divorced away from Westminster, and that's one of his plans. And uh, so he believed that um, and the entire policy system and the way the problems are uh, tackled need to change. I believe that no similar country will put so much decision making in the hands of few people. And you also look at um, uh, that British is eat harder by the crisis than other countries. Um, you also make more emphasis on NHS. Uh, I also make reference to uh, Shisuna, uh, give more commentary but no solution to the key speech. And there's no ambitious and even no sense of what the country actually needs. So uh, what the country actually needs is someone to talk to these unions, resolve their issues. Uh, all this strike currently going on in the countries, uh, we need a leader that will do that. And KSM also repeated that uh, 13 years of Tory leadership have led to what we call sticking plastic politics. And that is why every crisis is Britain harder than our competitors. And only the country in G7 is still poorer than it was before in pandemic, the worst decade of growth in two centuries. Uh, 17 million on the waiting list are rising. That hasn't even happened anywhere. And um, I said no plans to abolish uh, uh, university tuition fees. Uh, he refused to make a pledge to abolish university tuition fees, despite saying that they are not working well and boarding young people. Yes. Uh, I think this is one of the things they need to reform. And he said the economic conditions mean labor has to cost everything as they go into the next elections. Every commitment the party makes will be fully funded. And he also made mention of a uh, 2% pay rise for little for nurses. And the next question, that was what I asked him. And he asked that if 19% pay rise for nurses is so much, will Stammer at least say 2% is too little if this is offered? The government will end putting forward. Okay, now say, look, uh, let's wait and see what the government proposes. But expect them to compress, uh, compensate and talk to the nurses, and they need to get into the rooms with the nurses. That is what uh, Rishi Sunak and his minister need to do uh, instead of continuing to rely on the independence pay reviews. Kerstam uh, also has. Um, there's only a question that it will repeal the government proposed anti-strike legislations and that's currently coming up into the parliament. And uh, whatever it support any minimum service level during the strike. Right? And he said that it's all over the show uh, with different briefing on what legislation will be for. Uh, I don't think the legislation is going to work. It's, and it added that it's in the government has an assessment and it's, it's likely to make a big situation worse. So, there's another question that was also talked uh, talk to him about um, uh, that he want to be seen to be an economic competence. Uh, so, and the word again was striking, in, uh, implying that perhaps the uh, Labour Party has spent too much. So, and he was asked if he promised that he will match conservative spending limit. He doesn't answer either. 
Labour want to be seen as economic competence in the eyes of people. Uh, I definitely voted for uh, Tory last time, but it might be persuasive to vote Labour this time around. And um, and he definitely believe that they need a change uh, for for this current government, and that is one of the things they are currently introduced. And his job was to make that ch change to the party. So, and um, he has spoken. Uh, Kerstamas has spoken to the British people. So we will see within the next this year, um, uh, especially what is going to uh, give us more details about how he's going to achieve uh, each one of his plans that he has highlighted and uh, a lot of these plans that he has talked about. Uh, especially how he's going to take back control, um, how he's going to deliver the, all the promises, uh, making NHS improve the NHS, improve the worker pay, uh, talk to the uh, trade unions of the uh, transport, talk to any other public's uh, important services so that um, we, we can find a way of how he's going to do with each one of these if it is elected. And uh, all other things that he make mentions, uh, uh, make mention of energies, make mention of debt, uh, make mention of uh, anti-strike uh, legislation that is currently coming up. So we want to see what Kestama is going to do. So guys, um, I, I believe that uh, uh, this is one of the things that uh, is currently going on. Uh, uh, from a Labour Party, and if you're a Labour candidate, I just want to hear from you whether all the things that uh, Keir Starmer highlighted uh, definitely we align with what the British people currently need. I uh, just need your thought. I need your comment, um, and um, I also need your opinion as well. Uh, if you believe that uh, Keir Starmer is the only party or is the only uh, presidential is the only is the only party that can take the country uh, and win the next general elections that come up in 2023. And uh, just please, if you don't mind, just write your own comments, and we can take it from there. And but this is just I just want to bring to you. Uh, uh, what do you think? Uh, do you think all these Labour parties uh, outlines uh, will work for British people, or do you think it's not? So. This is my. Um, uh, this is just one of the things that happened today. So, guys, and I will speak to you um, tomorrow by special grace of God. And uh, hope you guys have a great and wonderful day, and all the best. And uh, stay blessed, and see you later.